Hello guys, welcome to Sim UK. This is TT Island Man right on the edge. Question is, is it time to get your balls out? Here we are, very much so uh, finally here. Well, finally here for me. This game doesn't actually release on Steam until the 27th or maybe even the beginning of next month. But um, this is the PC version. I, I know the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One version have been out for a couple of weeks. So you've seen a lot of what this game can offer. Um, and just for, just for clarity, I'd like to say a big thank you to Big Ben Interactive for uh, agreeing to send me a preview copy of this game so that I could uh, test it out and give it a review for you guys in terms of uh, you know, let you know whether it's worth a buy from a hardcore sim perspective. Um, in addition to that though, I'd also like to say, where's my flipping copy, Big Ben Interactive? Because they didn't actually send me one. Thankfully, uh, a friend of mine, real good friend of mine, real good friend of the channel, definitely head over. I think there's a link in my uh, in my main page to these guys. Go over and have a look at the hidden levels. They review just about every game on the planet. And um, they hooked me up with a key because they had a spare one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but Big Ben, you kind of let me down a bit here. I've been waiting a long time, a long time for this game. I've been so excited. I've been waiting for a real decent Isle of Man TT game. Now, I know you're all going to say that to um, Taurus Trophy, is it? Touring Trophy? I can't remember what it's flipping called. It was a brilliant game back in the day, but, I mean, that is old now. And this, this is the one that's going to be taken over. So, let's just come here a second. Is there music? Can I turn the flipping music off? The music is off, but it still plays at the beginning. Okay. This game, despite the fact that Big Ben have totally let me down, this game is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The detail on the track. Let's actually, let's just, let's go out. Let's, uh, let's go through this first. Shall we? The gameplay menu. You've got riding style. Obviously, I'm on simulation because I'm hardcore like that. Uh, you've got difficulty levels. Now, this is, this is interesting. Riding style and difficulty are not the same thing. So I would be lying if I could say to you that I knew what the difference was between this and this. Because I don't. So if you happen to know, if you've seen some evidence from Big Ben or Clytoon, what's it, Cly Clyoton Racing Games? The developers who make this, if you're part of uh, Big Ben or Clyde's on uh, riding games, then please, by all means, uh, clarify what, what is the difference between the riding style in simulation and the difficulty level, because I don't know. But anyway, I've got it on expert, I've got it on simulation. Obviously, it's the only way I roll. You've got keyboard controls here. Goodness me, if you're playing this on a keyboard, I feel sorry for you. To be honest with you, if you're playing this on a controller, I feel a little bit sorry for you as well. Obviously, you guys know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you into the secret now, I've got the HS2 here. This is the world's first fully functioning PC controller for, for motorbike racing games. And, oh, honestly, this game is spectacular. But this game with this controller is just another level. It really is spectacular. So excited to show you this. But I'm going to start off today on the controller. Uh, just because that's what the majority of you out there are going to be playing with, so that's in the fair. Audio is really nice, really impressed. Um, the video and setups are uh, quite in-depth, got quite a bit of control over uh, what you want to display, so on and so forth. I'm going to drop down to average because I've been noticing a few little stutters on high. 
So we're going to drop down to uh, to average, but most of the time it's a solid 60 FPS. I, so I think it's just a, a minor minor bug. Did I change that properly? Uh, so yeah, everything works pretty well. Now, the obviously some of you are going to play in Chase, uh, which which is fine if that's what you're into. But I really want the realistic feeling now. Helmet, you would think, is the most logical um, camera mode to be in, but actually, I find fork is better because the helmet just kind of it feels like it has a bit of a delay. I don't know if that's just me getting used to the game or not, but certainly in fork, everything feels more immediate, and uh, I stay on more track. But I'll but I'll go through that a bit later. We've also got dynamic view. Now, dynamic view is something they've added in. For one reason and one reason only, because this game doesn't have head tracking. Now that's a huge shame, because head tracking on this game would just be next level stuff. There's only really, so far, there's only three things I can say that I'd like to see improved on this game. And that's honestly the case. So, I mean, this is going to score very highly in this review. That's it. Simple review right now. Put your money aside, put it in your wish list, buy it when it comes out. This game is epic. You'll see in a minute. I mean, you've seen videos anyway. This is not new. You're not going to be excited by this. But my God, they've really done a good job here. Um, I, for one, was a bit hesitant about Big Ben running this uh, series. I thought, uh, I've seen their work in the past. And I've not been impressed, let's say that. But they've really impressed me here. There's only a few minor issues that need to be changed and uh, a few things I'd like to see. And one of the things I'd like to see is head tracking. But until we have head tracking, we have dynamic view. And basically, this, is, this means that your, your character will look into the corner that's coming up. So you'll have anticipated, which means you'll look into it well early. Standard, which means you look into it as you get to it. And delayed, which means you'll look into it as you hit it. Hope that makes sense. I turn it off because Obviously, when you don't have control of where the look is going, which is why I think head tracking is so good for this game. And VR would be oh, next level stuff. But we'll 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 settle for head tracking to start with. But if we had head tracking in this, you would you would know where you're looking, and you wouldn't lose your your conscious understanding of where the bike is and where your head is because you're doing it. But when you use dynamic view, I'm sure when you get used to it, it's fine. But when you're doing dynamic view, say you're going through a chicane, so you're looking into the the right-hand part of the chicane, and then uh, and then your view turns left, even though you're still in the right hand. It just gets confusing, so I turn it off. Uh, camera shake is pretty good. Uh, nothing really to mention there. Head-up display. It starts off in kilometres per hour, but obviously I'm British, so it's miles per hour. I think miles per hour should be the default, in my humble opinion. This being a, a British event in Britain, it really ought to default to MPH, but that's just me. Um, I'm, what am I going to have? I'm going to have... Um, going to have everything on. I thought this is where I set up whether... Oh, I know, I know. That is actually here. The gameplay, riding style. So, racing line. I'm going to turn that on because this is a long track. This is a seriously long, long track. The Snaefell Mountain Course is 37.73 miles long or something. You're not going to learn that straight away. Uh, <laughs> you're really not. What, what you're going to do? I think the general consensus is three years to learn this track. Three years. Uh, oh, you can delete your data. Oh, that's cool. I'll probably do that later. And then credits. Right, so that's the menu system pretty much done. You can see you've got a leaderboard here. Um, obviously, where am I? I was 23rd last night. I haven't actually had a proper go at this yet. Last night I was 23rd. No? Oh, that's weird. I can't seem to bring it up today. 
Oh, well, that was working yesterday. <laughs> and I was 23rd, but so really, in honesty, there aren't many people playing this on Steam because obviously it's pre release. And um, I wasn't actually giving it a proper go, I was just checking out the game. So let's have a go. Let's uh, actually get something. Should we do a tutorial? Let's do a tutorial so you can see. The tutorial I absolutely hate, I have to say. I will crash a hundred times in this tutorial because what it does, as you're coming into a corner, it will go into slow mode. So all of a sudden, you know, you're turning into the corner and then all of a sudden it's slow mo mode. So you don't really know how far you've leant over now. And then it says, use this button to do this thing. And then it brings you back into the game and you're just like, ah, ah. Crash, die! Uh, yeah. So you'll see that in a second. You can see already that the graphics, and I'm not running this on Epic, by the way, as you saw, I just dropped it down to medium. But even on medium, this game looks absolutely stunning. Just give it a little blip. Interestingly, if I put the brake on, there's no animation for the brake. Here we go. So you've got the change camera buttons. This is where you would think I want to play. Here's the slow-mo thing. And then all of a sudden you're back into it. It's a bit confusing to be honest. Now this is automatic gears. Left top to brake. Now during the tutorial you're in absolute beginner mode. So it's automatic gears. ABS is on. You know, there's no wheelies, anti-wheelies on. Press and hold X to respawn in the middle of the road. So if I crash, I do love that crash camera. It's, I think it's brilliant. Press and hold X and it'll put you back in the middle of the track or thereabouts. It's never the same place twice. Well, maybe it is. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Um, camera. Okay. This is the one that I feel is most responsive. The corner markers at the top of the screen and the racing line show you the route to follow. When it's red, the racing line helps you to anticipate when to break. See, look at that. It's taking me through corners in slow-mo and then suddenly drops me back into normal speed and I'm supposed to just cope with that. <laughs> oh. The riding style affects the riding aids during gameplay. This has just changed to the next level. You can change it at any time in the options. So now we're not on beginner mode. Change up, press Y, to downshift, press A. Oh, oh. Press left stick forward to lean and uh, right stick to lean back. Now, I'm leaning forward now, now I'm leaning back. I can't see any visual difference from the helmet cam. Have you noticed that? That's, I think that's a bit odd. You can feel it in the bike. So if I drop down a couple of gears and lean back, you can see I'm off on my ass. If I go up into first and lean forward, you can see no such wheelies. Oh! I forgot I was on. <laughs> For a moment there, I'd forgotten I wasn't on beginner level. So yeah, I just totally jammed the front brake on. And what I really like about that is that in, in a lot of games, when you jam the front brake on, you just go straight over the handlebars. But in this game, the, the tail of the bike actually kicks out, uh, which is more realistic because, in, because of inertia, I think is the right term. Uh, you know, the back of the bike has a lot of weight going towards it. And when you lock up the front wheel, the, the back wheel wants to overtake the front wheel because it hasn't got that braking on it. And that's more realistic to life, and it's brilliant. And some things like that, they've absolutely nailed to perfection, or near perfection. I think the physics need a bit of tweaking. I wouldn't say it was perfect, but this is so good. I mean, if you compare this to Ride 2 or MotoGP17, this is way 
feels way, way more realistic. Way more realistic. Um, let's go solo. Let's go time attack. Let's do sections. Now, I haven't used this before, so I'm kind of working this out as I go. Let's go noon, and we'll just do section one. Because, I mean, it's a good 20 minutes to go around this course when you don't know the course. Um, even a good time is about 17 minutes, something like that, so... Yeah, we'll just do the first section. And the bike uh and um the bike uh, models are just wonderful. Really, really nice. But look, no brake, no brake, no brake animation, which is weird. too heavy-handed on that front brake there there is a learning curve if you're if you're gonna play this in hardcore there is a learning curve now if you're an experienced biker that learning curve is going to be considerably shorter than the likes of me but like every game oh shizer Oh, oh, lost it. When you, and I should have been breaking then as well. When you lose it in this game, it's almost impossible to get it back. Now you can get it back. It's not impossible to get it back, but my gosh, it's hard. And if you just clip that curb, or the wall, or anything really, you're pretty much coming off. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong keep pressing X to change down a gear and it's A. That's really not helping me when I'm trying to slow down. Oh, and that would be A again. I haven't really been playing this game much on the controller, so I'm pretty rubbish with it. To be fair, on the HS2, uh, it's more like riding a bike, obviously. I, I can't get the sensitivity right on that front brake using this. I'm pretty rubbish on the HS2 as well. I've got a lot of practice ahead of me. Let's change the camera a bit. Now, obviously, if you're going to go external camera, it's going to be a bit easier for you. Jesus. Do you see? I just clipped the curb there, and uh, and I'm off straight away. Bearing in mind... Oh, Jesus. Talking and riding at the same time bit tricky. bearing in mind I don't use a controller so this all feels oh, incredibly alien going down a gear instead of up a gear but yes if you're using this chase camera you've got a significant advantage over somebody who's in first camera view because you can see so much more of what's coming so yeah uh, it's, it's spectacular it really is spectacular now in order to um, in order to show you what it's like with the HS2, I am going to have to shut the game down and load it back up. So I'm going to go do that now. And, uh, and then we're going to take a cruise around Snaefell. And uh, hopefully, uh, it'll be a good video to watch. So. 